of like Harvey meets Calvin and Hobbes meets Fight Club. It deals with Elijah Wood's character, Ryan, who is kind of at the end of his rope in life. And we, we first meet him when he's trying to commit suicide. My character, his next door neighbor, who's Jenna, who's new from the Midwest, interrupts and is like totally frazzled and is like, Ryan, can, I, I know we've never met, but, but can you watch my dog? And he turns and instead of seeing just a cute, lovable little dog, he sees this big Australian guy dressed up in a cheap dog suit with a painted dog nose. And he's just he's like, Wait, what's going on? Like, is he going crazy? Am I crazy? I mean, you don't know what's happening. And um, so I run off and he ends up getting to know my dog, Wilfred. Tell me about Jenna. Why? I'd like to get to know her. Pull your lipstick back in its case, Romeo. You're not her type. You know, when I first had um, my first chemistry read with Elijah and Jason, and we could not get through it. We were laughing so hard because Jason would be like, ball, 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 I mean, like in my ear, and I just could not keep a straight face. Where is his leash? It won't happen again. Yeah, if it does, someone's getting their nuts cut off. <sighs> he means me. You obviously haven't got any. Once I'm in that suit, I'm pretty miserable, as, and so I just become Wilfred. What do you say, ladies? The four of us can grab some drinks and take our tops off. When it was an Australian short film for the first time, people looking at me like, I hope you know what you're doing, man, Like, because this is called Wilfred, and you're in a dog suit pulling bongs, and you look like an idiot. And then again, when we shot the pilot, it was people like, what are you doing? And when I was in America again recently, it was like, OK. Good luck with the pilot. We've shot on Venice four times and each time like there's been Aussies there that have come up to me and they're like, hey Wilfred, you know, and um, so there's a lot of love for the character. I think all dogs are perverts and weirdos, yeah. I don't want to, I don't have a dog, I don't want one. I'm all dogged out. Sometimes dogs look at me, uh, I'm sure they look at me differently. Like, they know. So you are he. Speak on our behalf. We were shooting at the front of the house and I had my back to the street and this guy walks past with his um, dog, walking his dog. I didn't realise that the dog was behind me, saw the back of me and was like freaking out. And so I just turned around and went, hello mate. And he, he, uh, he literally pissed himself. His tail went under and he pissed himself like, oh, it's a man, it's a man dog. Oh, you're a naughty boy. Oh, you like bras, don't you? Wilfred gets to make out with a human in the season. Someone very famous. It's a famous wife of a famous dude who may have used to star on Cheers. I fought to get that in there, you know, like people let their dogs lick them on the mouth and a dog will like try and get its tongue in your mouth. Even if it's just like, if, it, if you say no, it'll like wait and then it'll be like, no. I wanted a relationship with a human that allowed that to happen, but when, from Wilfred's perspective, he's like making out with her, you know? Because we'd done a few takes and it was getting pretty heavy. And then I came in to the, talk to the directors and stuff and I said, um, I said, how was that? They're going, oh, great, great. I said, did you see my tongue go in the mouth? They're like, no, no, but we, we know that that's going in. I go, but you didn't actually see it go in? And they're like, no, I don't think we saw it. I said, one more, one more. And so I just really gave it everything. And at the end, I said, after the, so I, I said to the person in question, um, look, I'm sorry about that. And she said, you're sorry? That's the most fun I've had in years. <laughs>